present complexities is ended, and the night is now upon us. The night should be a time of peace and tranquility, a time to relax and be calm. We have need of a soothing story to banish the disturbing thoughts of the day, to set at rest our troubled minds and put at ease our ruffled spirits. And what sort of story shall we hear? It will be a familiar story, a story that is so very, very old, and yet it is so new. It is the old, old story of love. Two lovers sat on a park bench with their bodies touching each other. Frequently people ask me what my work is about, and I say I don't know. And I don't think it's a responsibility for an artist to necessarily understand what it is that he does. I talk uh, a lot about the structure and the ideas and how it's put together, but ultimately that's not important to appreciate it. If I see a Balanchine ballet or I see a Japanese garden, I can appreciate it simply because I like it. And I think this piece is like that. Impossible, you say? Yes. And it is just as impossible for me to say how much I love you. My love for you is higher than the heavens, deeper than Hades, broader than the earth. Once more her voice was heard. Kiss me, God, she implored. And placing his arms gently about her, he pressed his lips warmly to hers in fervent osculation. Three. Albert Einstein said, the most beautiful experience we can have is the mysterious. It is the fundamental emotion which stands at the cradle of true art and true science. <laughs>